François de Rugy has been facing the music once again this Friday over allegations about his extravagant lifestyle. But the embattled ecology minister says that when you're attacked morning, noon and night, you obviously consider giving everything up. But he says he's secured the support of President Macron and has no reason to resign. This, of course, despite a fresh wave of allegations that have been levelled against him by the website Mediapart. Well, for more on this story that's dominating the headlines here in France, I'm joined here in the studio by our international affairs editor, uh, Philip Turl. Now, Philip, we've had a fresh a stack of accusations and revelations coming out in um, recent hours against the ecology minister. Talk us through uh, some of the latest. Well, uh, Thomas, it was already bad yesterday. It's just got a whole lot worse today for the ecology minister, who spent two hours uh, with the French prime minister uh, last night in a long explanation about what's been going on and these charges that he was spending vast amounts of money on very chic dinner parties within a French residency, which was his residency during the time he was Speaker of the National Assembly. Now, in these latest allegations uh, from Mediapart and from the Parisian newspaper, uh, which came to light today, the first one accuses uh, the Environment Minister of being in possession of a flat in the western uh, city of Nantes, uh, which is in fact a council flat, a low rent flat, uh, which normally someone in his position would not be eligible to have. He says that this is not true and he is paying a decent, correct price for this flat. There's an investigation taking place as far as that's concerned. And then other allegations saying that while he was uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, he had a room uh, prepared within the National Assembly so that he could receive his children there and work carried out in it. Not sure whether that was paid for by taxpayers' money or not. And then another revelation by the Parisian, which said that he spent 500 euros on a gold leaf hairdryer for his girlfriend, uh, which they left behind when they moved out of the National Assembly. So all of these allegations coming one after the other are making it very difficult uh, for Francois de Rougy to be able to maintain his position. Now, yesterday, as I said, he was uh, talked to by uh, the French Prime Minister. We were all expecting him to resign after that meeting. He came out and the word was that he had been given a second chance, if you like, on condition that he pays back the money if it's deemed after investigation that that money was ill spent on guests who shouldn't have been present at these dinner parties that he held uh, while he was Speaker of the National Assembly. And this morning, François de Rougy has gone on the offensive, on the attack, by appearing on French television to say that he believes that all of this is unjustified. Let's have a listen to what he's been saying. I told the Prime Minister I have absolutely no reason to resign, and he did not ask me to. When you're attacked all day long, when new false information about you comes out every day, obviously you just want to be alone, to let go. But I won't do that because I'm extremely angry. When I read an article that claims I live in a public housing unit, I have never in my life asked for subsidized housing. That was uh, François de Rugy speaking there on BFM uh, TV uh, a short while ago this uh, Friday here in France. Now, Philip, how much of a political nightmare is this whole scandal for President Macron? Do you know what, Thomas? This is the sort of disaster thing that politicians hate because pictures go up of these uh, uh, very chic dinner parties where they're drinking uh, champagne or cheval blanc wine and eating lobsters when at the same time uh, telling the public to tighten their belts because of cutbacks. And that is exactly what the president wants to avoid here. Uh, this image that the ruling elite is totally out of contact with the, the, the main problems of everyday French people. Uh, and this has done nothing, unfortunately, to help the president in that uh, uh, trying to uh, dispel that image.